What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy, and welcome to the off season in Canada. So I hope you're not on vacation right now because this is off season. This is the time to make the moves because when busy season comes, you're gonna be too busy to do anything else. Take this time, utilize it, heed my words and get to work. This isn't vacation time, this is get to work time. And today I wanna to talk about off season. Uh, lots of you say, hey, off season and there's no work. Well, what we mean about that here in Canada is this is the kind of snow that you're gonna see in uh, extreme days on our off season. It, yeah, it's not too cold outside uh, right now, but uh, it's deep. Returns are coming back today, so I'm gonna dig my way out to, to get to the shop to receive those returns. Plus, I'm really excited to take pictures of uh, marquee letters to get on that marketing package for you. What are you doing today? Uh, if you have a rental company and it's dead season, are you sitting around? Are you on vacation or are you grinding out? Me? Uh, this is what I've been doing. Painting more letters all day. I'm on the letter grind. I'm working towards my future. I hope you are working towards your future too. Uh, the heat's expensive. I wanna use that as motivation. Gotta pay for the heat. Think to yourself, what have you offered yourself new offerings for the off season if you're a blossoming business? Uh, I look into myself and I think marquee letters, video game things, uh, more tents, arcades, more photo booths, more marquee letter signs, more arches, more tables, more chairs. And then I also think to myself, okay, so am I doing a good enough job marketing all the old things that I have? Because once I get something new, I don't wanna just sit on it and forget to make posts about it again. So I repost, repost, repost. Use all the old video content that I had before, remake a new video, repost. Did I put my update on Google yet today? Because when you update things on Google, it takes those keywords and puts them into suggest to people who are looking for your products. They can't find your products unless you're talking about them. If you're talking about them, Google makes them relevant. Right on the top, right in the top three parts, the Google three pack. You say something in a post about one of your rentals, hey, our marquee letters look fantastic. You can rent them. When people type in marquee letters, you go into the Google three pack and then it mentions something about your marquee letters. It's very simple. Anyways, don't be sitting on your butt unless you're content. What are you adding to your business? What have you done today? What was your baby step today? And what is your weekly goal? What is it? Because you can't sit around. Added projectors. Budget projectors are hot for me. Why not add them? Added a TV. Added six foot wood tables. Some signs. Added some more barrels. Then I also think, what are things that are in my shop that I'm not correctly renting? Make sure everything's added. See this, see this stanchion and rope here? Well, that was part of photo booth gigs before, but it's on the website, goes out twice a year. If I didn't have it on there and it's just sitting there, it's not gonna rent. I look at these tent poles. It's like, hey, my smaller pole tents didn't go out that much last year. How can I repurpose them? I took some of my old tent poles and I made them into light poles. And for some of my tents, then I can offer special lighting. Tent poles, you can double use some of your inventory. How can I make it more than one item? You have the time to think about this stuff. Walk around and see what uses your stuff has. You have the ability to stage a whole head table and then be able to take pictures and add it to your store on Instagram and then tag the products or make it a package so people say, hey, yeah, I want that, and then they book it. Do you remember how hard of a hassle it was for you last summer because your bay was too crowded in certain ways and you had trouble getting things in and out? Well, now, if nothing's moving, reorganize it so that it all goes out perfectly. Restructure the systems. Think about this stuff now. Prepare, prepare for battle. Battle! 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 Are you posting but making sure to put calls to action on your posts? 
Are you taking advantage of new features like Instagram Reels because they get shown to a lot of people? Are you doing deep dive research into different social media so that you can understand the mechanics of how they work to better your business? I want success and I want your success. Are you gonna be successful? Are we gonna be successful? I'm looking at my website and I'm thinking, man, are all my columns really working for what I want them to look for? I search up baby shower in my city and someone else is popping up. I have to make a baby shower in my city page. And then I think, okay, well, I don't have any baby shower items. Yeah, I do, I have tons of baby shower items. Tables, tablecloths, marquee letters that say baby. Do people having baby showers rent items from you? Damn right they do. So make a baby shower page. You wanna do something, go for it. Don't look at these marquee letters of mine and thinking, man, that'd be nice, I just don't have enough room. I don't have enough room either. That's why I maxed out my garage and moved to a bay. That's why I parked my vehicle on the road for so long because I had no room to put anywhere. That's why I lived putting rentals at the side of my house because my garage was packed full until I was able to get here. That's why I moved into a bay. A real hustler, they'll sleep with their rentals if they have to. When you start from nothing, it's not pretty at the start. You just keep going, you keep going. Don't take no for an answer. Don't use fear. I'm so sick of all this fear and everyone, what if? Who cares about what if? How? How is a way better way to talk about it? How do I get to that next goal? Not what if this happens to deter me from getting to that goal. Don't think that way. You're never gonna progress if you think that way. Just think, okay, how am I gonna do this? Not, oh, well, I don't think I can. How am I going to do this? How am I going to get a set of marquee letters? How am I going to get those big tent bookings? How am I going to afford it? Do you think I said that when I started with one pop-up tent and then I was like, how am I going to get uh, a hundred person wedding with these huge tents? I figured it out. I threw them on my website. I took bookings and I bought them. Did I have the money? No, I didn't have the money. So I hope you're not on vacation right now because this is off season. This is the time to make the moves because when busy season comes, you're gonna be too busy to do anything else. Take this time, utilize it, heed my words and get to work. This isn't vacation time, this is get to work time. So guys, you'll probably hate me by the end of this video, but that's okay. Uh, hate on, cause I'm here to stay. Uh, if you wanna watch, I wanna tell you. Uh, I need these motivation words and I think that you might need them too. If you like this video, you don't have to press like, you can press like if you want, but if you like this video, then just heed my words. Follow my example, work hard and get to where you wanna be. No matter what, don't take no for an answer. There is no, this is off season, this is hustle season, okay? Off season is hustle season, on season is work season. That's it, thanks for watching guys. You stay classy.